All the clear uh, plastic went together really well. I used the micro crystal clear for this and uh, if you can tell me the difference between this and Elmer's here apart from dollars of difference I think the Elmer's is probably the cheaper and better way to go because this can still be pulled apart no problem just as if it were done with Elmer's but this was three dollars something and this is 99 cents at the dollar store two bucks at your regular store so there's definitely a cost savings there Last couple parts to glue together for the uh, clear things are uh, these guys, whatever they are. You got to make sure that you do a particular side to a particular side, parts 100 and 101, each go to a different one of these. They look pretty much identical, but I guess they're just that much slightly different that they had to go and specify the parts. Turning down here. So I just got this uh, slow drill to help me with these windows. So far the uh, one bit that I used is a little too large so I got to find a way to get a much smaller bit in this guy. Probably the 0.25 millimeter size. There's a lot of holes here. 6 by 10, 60, possibly up to 120 each. Call it 250 total, somewhere in there. Up to 400, maybe. 400 is probably definitely really high, but there's a lot of uh, cutting to do. One other op, well, you still got to cut it open, I guess. But if you put some really bright LEDs right against the plastic and don't paint this black first, that could be enough glow to get everything done. But I want these individual lights to flash in different banks. So uh, that's definitely going to be more of an advanced trick. Over on this radar dish, uh, I'm led to understand that if you have a lighting kit for the dome, you cannot put that, those LEDs in here and the dish at the same time. I thought you could. So I'm going to pull these uh, radar dishes off basically, find a clear piece of plastic and see if something can be worked out with that because uh, that would be good to get that lit and functioning at least as much as possible don't quite remember what I was going to talk about with all the fiber optics but uh, basically these will not get in the way of any paint job so there's no worries there I might trim them down a little more before I actually go and do the paint just so there's no shadow cast by them with the spray going down uh, these two millimeter fibers are going to bend just about perfectly and once those are used to being in this position they'll definitely be set for the rest of their lives trimming the fiber is going to be tough on this two millimeter stuff but all the other things should go really well over on this uh, I've got to help things out I've glued this canister to help uh, manipulate these fibers into shape because otherwise if I didn't go right here they were getting all over the place in the way here for all the other lighting I've got to do I don't think all of these are lit but I gotta watch the reference which I just posted on YouTube uh, there are also additional lights that go on the inside of the airlock door which is this one here so there's a small bank of lights, I think four of them, two yellows, an orange, and a red. Those got to go into this wall with a little panel for that. So that'll be another custom piece to this. I also glued this foot on there so it would hopefully stand in some cases at least. And it's 50-50, but in this case it's looking 0-100. There we go. There's going to be a lot done to this piece. This is like the main show piece it looks like for the entire uh, set. We're all covered on the LEDs here. I just got to wire a bunch up and do some light tests to see how that looks. The general alarm insert here, that can be cut away entirely. And I'll be putting an LED behind that. Clear piece of plastic with the decal. A few of these holes here need to be uh, drilled out for lights. Not too many, just a few. They don't blink or 
do anything active like that. This red globe here though, I haven't seen the parts around yet. But at each corner here there's like a, a siren light on top of a stand setting up there which is of course next to this. And this rocks all over the place. So it turns out every one of these little dimples on here is uh, actually a light point. So I'm going to have to actually strip out the black paint from here to make this translucent again. Uh, this will stay black because it was only the top that really lit up, if I'm remembering correctly. And I'm going to have to shave all these down, drill a hole in there, and then put a fiber optic strand in, which will not be too bad. There's definitely enough uh, diameter on the overall tube going down, so I'm not worried about that. This is definitely going to be like 0.25 millimeter, and we need uh, 3, 6, 9, just 9 of them. So that'll fit really well there. That's definitely going to be a trick, and I'll definitely record that when it happens. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for all the parts. I'll do a little session on these brass pieces when I get to it which will be very soon we'll do uh, this fusion core we'll talk about this coming up definitely next but otherwise I'm left with just a bag of uh, mostly clear plastic there the freezer tubes over here I haven't wanted to start them yet because I figure all that plastic needs to be painted first and uh, the walls are pretty much all set. I've been studying the light levels on those, and it's pretty dim overall, so I was kind of surprised at that. But we'll definitely do something good on that. That's the only side where everything is really blue. So uh, lots of blue lights going on there, especially in all the controls on the top. Uh, and the landing gear. So what I'll do next is we'll pull down some of these fusion cores and see how they fit. Let's definitely check this out. This used to be a square box that didn't fit. So, uh, basically, is this glued down? I think it's just tacked in at this point. Basically, I had to fit this curvature to uh, the outer hull, and this styrene here just barely fits inside now. I got to do a little more manipulation to get a perfect fit. But, uh, overall, it makes for a nice room. So a wall has to go along here so you can't see what's going on. And then I think there's uh, some photos and stuff. And this is where the outer porthole is. Almost directly against that wall there. So i got to figure out how I'm going to do that. But uh, I'm going to dig this up. We'll put some fusion cores in here in just a second. <laughs> 